All right, guys. Uh, <clears throat> welcome to my Mass Effect Two thoughts. Just finished it last night. It's pretty good. It wasn't I don't know. I think it's probably one of the best RPGs on the 360. I liked it a whole lot more than the first one. Um, there, I don't know. There were a lot of improvements to the first one. Like, I guess we'll start off with the gameplay, right? Gameplay is a lot better. A lot of people don't like the new ammo system, but I kind of like it. It makes it a little bit harder, I guess, because you don't have to deal with the whole cooldown thing and just reload your ammo. It's easy. But I'm noticing on insanity difficult, you really do have to like use your biotics and tech abilities more because you know like ammo doesn't do as much. So you gotta take advantage of all your like. I'm playing as a soldier, so you gotta use your like uh, biotic bullets. I guess you are they tech bullets? I don't know. But yeah, like incendiary bullets and cryo bullets. You have to use those a lot more. Uh, I know a lot of people said in the first game there were a lot of frame, like frame drops, but I really never experienced that in the first one. But I know in this one I never did. It was really good. There really was nothing bad about this game. I even, like, I don't know. It's crazy, like. <laughs> I don't know, I thought, like, a few of the characters were kind of really bland, though. Let's go to the characters now. Um. Some of the later characters, they just, they don't really seem to be unique, like, you have, like, your assassin, dude, he's pretty interesting, like, he's an assassin, but he, like, he's like this lizard race, I think, I think he's a lizard or something like that, but, like, basically his lungs, they die eventually, so he, he ends up dying, like, younger than most races, but, you have to like I don't know, they have a really interesting way of character development. Once you un like once you recruit that like character to your party, uh basically you'll get to a point where you have to gain their trust by like doing a side mission. And uh each character you recruit has their own side mission. Even the new DLC character does. His was extremely sure though. But it's a pretty cool way to reveal more of their back details and stuff. Um, I didn't really like the level layout. It seemed like um, whenever you uh, what do you call it? Whenever it's like in the first game, you just get experience and levels you up. But in this one, you get like it seems like the each mission has a set amount of experience you gain from that mission and I don't know it just doesn't feel like you're getting enough experience in some levels like you'll encounter infinite like spawning enemies but you'll, you'll kill them and all you're doing is really wasting your ammo I thought they could have done something better with the experience system uh... Also, I've I've been watching a bunch of reviews, and people are saying the AI is glitchy and faulty, and they don't do anything. But I didn't start noticing problems like that until like like I don't even know, like maybe three quarters in, and it was only for a few missions. And I don't know, it was weird. Like I'd go down this ramp and start fighting these enemies, but my teammates they would even follow. They would just like stay back up at the top of the ramp not shooting at anything just standing up there it was, there was a few times I did that they wouldn't even come near me and then what else I think the AI in the later levels is like the biggest problem for me um, I don't know, you just... I liked it a lot. 
Some of the missions, though, they were extremely, like, so linear, it, like, hurts your brain. It's like, run down this hallway, go to the left, grab ammo, go to the right, down the hallway. And then just, like, blow something up, or... Like, the side quest, there was barely any, like, exploration on the planets. Just an, like, extremely linear pathway. And then they added the new hacking mini games, which are pretty cool. You have like a a matching game where you gotta like take a picture from the top left corner and like match it with the scrolling pictures. That one's kind of tricky. Um, but then you have the other one, which is just like I don't even know why they added the other one. It, it's so easy that like I I never even felt it once. Cause like. I don't know. Here, I'll play a clip for it, but... Here, like, see, you have, like, all these circles, right? You highlight them to see which, like, what its symbol is. Then you go over to the other symbols, match those together. And then, it's... I don't know, it's just so easy, like... What's the point of it? It's not even good. But, oh my god, the story for this game was awesome. I cannot wait for the next one. It's just like crazy. And it seemed like there were a lot more decisions you could make that would alter the next game. Especially towards the end of the game, but I don't know, this game was just amazing. Also my favorite feature is probably uh anytime you get a kill towards your achievement, it'll show like a little updater. You guys should really check it out. Okay.